First time I sat down on a drum set, it just kind of came natural. I, I was able to play a beat right away. Boy, I mean, when you start playing a beat, you almost get like an adrenaline rush. I'm Jason Gerling, and I'm a drummer and composer. I'm a professional composer uh, and drummer. I started my own business in 2002, composing for clients, uh, doing voiceover and composition. Composing, for me, it starts off with just an idea or a hook in my mind. So then I take that, I sit down at my keyboard, and then I usually, uh, I have to pick some sort of an instrument, like a piano sound, something to get the melody up. And then I add instruments after that, uh, drums, bass, and the great thing is, the equipment and uh, technology nowadays, that's why I'm a one-man band. I mean, music today is so much more fun to make because I mean, I'm a horrible keyboardist, but I can make myself sound like a great keyboardist with the technology, which you'll hear in this Latin song I'm going to be doing. When I was in fifth grade, I joined band. I didn't take lessons until I was 16 and I started lessons and I was gung-ho on uh, playing drums. After high school, I played around the Twin Cities professionally. In 1994, I was playing a gig in Rochester. You know, I was anxious to get home. I was driving and I was getting a little tired, so I thought I would head over to the casino and maybe drink some coffee and play blackjack. And that's the last thing I remember. I guess my car went around a sharp left turn and it flipped over five to seven times. And I had a C6-7 incomplete spinal contusion. I was able to move my wrists a little bit but I couldn't really move my fingers or grasp anything. Eventually, um, I did want to get back to playing again, and the counselor said, Jason, if you're missing drums so much, do a comeback concert. I talked to my musicians, and they were all for it. That came to fruition a couple years after my accident. If anybody was to just walk by and look at my drum set, they would think it looks like a normal drum set. In fact, it's a very special drum set. Uh, the bass drum is not really a bass drum. It's a, a subwoofer that's actually suspended inside of the bass drum. So it sounds like a real bass drum every time I hit it. And then I use these electronic pads uh, to actually play the bass drum because I'm not doing anything with my feet. I've got this mouth trigger. When I do hit my cymbal, and I'm blowing into the mouthpiece, it activates a gate that um, allows me to play a bass drum when I'm hitting a cymbal. So no matter what cymbal I hit, it will trigger a kick drum. Um, so it's really cool. So check it out. Now without, through 10 years of, of experimentation, I finally came up with something that works. This is my invention right here. It's just a ring trigger that goes right on the cymbal stand. It's just made out of rubber. Then you just put it on there like that, put a piece of cymbal felt down, you pop, pop the cymbal on. The whole point of this drum set is for an exact setup every single time. Basically, I take my sound with me wherever I go, and that means wheels. <laughs> Not only am I on wheels, of course, but the drums uh, have got wheels with uh, brakes on them, so it's so easy for me to push it around. I don't have to pick it all up and reset it up. I just uh, unlock the wheels and push it out, so it makes things easy to use. When you're looking at it from the front, you really don't see all the wiring. I inside of these uh, square tubes, it's a network of wires. So basically, this is the brain behind the whole drum kit, uh, this rack, and it's really heavy. So it'd be great if I could someday consolidate it down, because it's a recording studio on wheels, basically. Almost everything in this drum kit is what I want. The only thing I want more is more toys to add to it. This is just the beginning, this is the first. After my accident, I really found a purpose because nobody's really thought about 
these things before. But this is new, this is unique. That's what kind of drives me. And it only pushes me to want to go further and develop other things. And not only for me, but there's a lot of other disabled musicians out there who could really benefit from my research and what I've discovered. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.